What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Outspoken. I'm going to take this cough drop out of my mouth. Oh. Decided that was a horrible decision. Today, we are going to be revisiting somebody who you may know and love. Oh, she's wonderful. She pushed ads years ago about how to dress modestly. Is that what, what was that the title? I think that was the title. Yeah. She's like, why women to dress modestly? And, you know, she's like, you know, banking off, you know, big brother Ben. Yeah. Really banking off of him with the yeah. news. But she was a big hit back then. We decided to revisit her. And uh, she actually did put out a new video on how to be, like, modest. Again. Yeah, it was just like a couple weeks five ago. Five ways to be. Um, so I thought I should take some notes because I am just obviously just a fucking harlot. Look at me. Is that the correct term? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So um, she this. She would hate me. The title of the video is Modesty Matters and Here's Why. And we had to bring this topic to the table because of Shannon's boobs. Dismodesty. Is that the right word? Yeah. English is hard. I don't know anything because I'm boobs. You're just a walking pair <laughs> of jugs. And it doesn't matter because men don't care anything. No. Nope. About brain, just boobs. No. Nope. If I have boobs, then brain doesn't matter. No. According to Abby Shapiro. So we're about to learn. Or welcome. I'm about to learn. She's going to learn. Yeah. So welcome to this beautiful video. It's only 10 minutes. Let's get it started. Yep. Let's let's learn about why dressing modestly is not related to the patriarchy at all. And Sam has a staring problem. And... This is why he knows nothing about me. You'll figure out why. Spoiler alert. We've lost the thread on modesty. If you are new to my channel, my name is Abby. Love the intro audio. What are we in? 1600? Yeah, I mean, it's perfect, like, booby shaking. It's like... I mean, sorry, that's kind of... Not modest of me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not I'm not doing so well so far. And here we talk about common sense commentary, where I talk about things that I think are kind of obvious, but in today's day and age would be considered pretty controversial. So let's just get into today's video. If you have been on my channel before, you will know that some of my most popular videos are about modesty. I talk about modesty a lot here on my channel because- Yeah, because you pushed them for years and years and years. I hope that you guys know who she is because she like, it was- on it was like suggested to everyone it was like a meme it was she, yeah, so funny yeah she was like <laughs> and why are you pushing it so hard <laughs> pushing when, it so hard when you have ben shapiro as a brother be like yo bro and the fact that this is only the has brother. like five thousand views from two weeks ago like i don't know why she keeps trying but anyways she's just a really smart educated woman who's about to teach us why patriarchy and modesty have no connection and i think that that's really important for us uh, me too yeah i think that's really important for everybody and um I'm going to preface uh <laughs> face. <laughs> the face. we're gonna preface um i might be a little hard on the modesty concept but i am going to say that if you prefer to dress modestly I have a panic button for those of you who can't see. I always keep it there on There is me. nothing wrong with dressing modestly if it is what makes you comfortable. Exactly. There is a problem when you dress modestly and it bothers you that other people don't. And you have to push it onto other your beliefs onto other people. That is the issue. Nobody gives a fuck if you dress modestly if that's what your if that's what that's that's your prerogative. This is mine. So we're just going the to boot, yeah, they're hers. You know. The hammer on the nail. Mm -hmm. That's the saying, right? I think it I, is. The hammer on the head, <laughs> head on the nail. I don't know. Head on the boobs, head boobs on, uh, and nails and <laughs> boobs. boobs, 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 boobs. Yeah, but just gonna preface that that if that is your choice and you're just a normal decent person who dresses modestly, this is not hate towards you. No, and you your dress as you want, as long as you're not pushing that towards other people. I think everyone should have the freedom to dress how they feel fit and comfortably. Um, so I'm just gonna preface that while I drag her for her beliefs. <laughs> Thank you. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I love modesty. I think that it is a beautiful concept. It's one that really embraces your femininity. I think that it can really show respect to who you are and to your body. But modesty is very controversial these days. And people take a lot of offense to the term, to the idea. They think it's controlling. They think it's patriarchal. And I am here to say it is none of those things. 
Oh, th- none of those things. None of those things. At all. What did she say about? It's it's people frown upon it today or something They're about like, being modest. She's like making it seem like the term like modesty is like a slur. It's, <laughs> I, I, I don't think she people so they don't frown upon it. People are kind of they want to get out of the realm of oh women have to dress a specific way. That's sort to of what be society taken seriously to be taken seriously. Yes, like, that's the whole fucking point. Oh, you got to cover up because of this. That's why people right say it's like, what they say. Right, you know this goes back to forever and also just even in our lifetimes in childhood women girls couldn't have their shoulders out in school because it might distract boys if you're if you can't control your boner that's not my problem yeah and that's the whole point no spaghetti straps There's, shorts have to be x amount inches right above the knee like what a weird concept you know she's going to talk about how like you know she kind of thinks that dressing immodestly s- is like kind of like a weird like political stance it can be, and it, it's a way of rebelling, and and there's a there's a lot of ways to kind of make that a stance. But also, personally, I don't do it for that reason. I do it because I feel more comfortable that way. Oh, I thought you did it as a political statement as well. You thought so? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. I genuinely enjoy, I feel more comfortable this way. I feel... It's not that I feel, like, sexier or hotter or, like, everyone's eyes needs to be here. Yeah. It's just... You know, as a bigger chested woman, clothes fit me weirdly, you know, especially modest clothes. And they make me feel uncomfortable. And um, sometimes actually having something not tight here makes my boobs not stay in my bra. And so I can bend down and then it'll be popping out. Then I have to go under my sweater and put the boobs back in the bra. Well, this outfit, I could do all this. Yeah. No issues. Yeah. And I'm comfortable. And I'm making a political statement. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the government. <laughs> I am here to be a big proponent of modesty because I think it's really important. And I want to share why. I don't think that modesty is only for the religious. I don't think that modesty is only for the prudish. I think that modesty is something that everyone should embrace because I think that it can only benefit you, the woman. And I know, again, unpopular opinion that it's about you as the woman and not about men, but it is for you. And I'm going to tell you why. So the modesty is for you, not the men. And she's going to tell us why. And to be fair, that's not a completely incorrect statement. No, no, not However, at all. However, she is going to completely uh, explain it incorrectly and debunking her own point that she just tried to make there. She said, probably says men like 10 times. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I think every uh, other word, she was like a man, men, man, sex, penis, boobs. I don't think she ever said penis, but we'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> but you know what? She, you'll know. You'll know what she's thinking. She's thinking about that PP getting hard and it being your problem. It ain't your fault. It's always your fault. If the PP get hard and your boobies out. Your fault. People often think that when I'm talking about modesty, I'm talking about it as a weapon to be wielded rather than as a tool to be used. A weapon to be wielded is you are dressed immodestly. You look inappropriate and you are gross, basically. You are just inappropriate. I don't want you in my space. You are upsetting to be around. That was directed at me, I think. (laughs) That's actually what I think whenever I look at you, to be honest. I think everyone thinks that when I walk into a room, they're like, she is gross. She is immodest. She is making my space feel disgusting. And I don't want to be around her. And I don't want her in my space. That was a really... (laughs) <laughs> what? Who is that supposed to be? Uh, Abby Shapiro. <laughs> That's a good. My Donald Trump there was bad. It's gross, and I don't want it in my face. Donald Trump would not say that about titties. No, he would not. He would grab her by the boobies. Yeah, just just letting you know, um, all of you immoral, immodest girlies out there, you're gross disgusting, yeah, and you he, make Abby Shapiro feel uncomfy. And she doesn't want to be around you. I don't want to be around Abby Shapiro. I feel like her, her and my space would make me uncomfy. Hiding those giant mommy milkers behind all of that modest clothes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the panic button. She's taller than her brother, too, yo. She's tall? Yeah. She kind of just looks like she would could beat me up. She would probably like stop you out. Yeah, she, she looks lo- like she, she could, could fight for some reason. I feel like we would have like a boob fight though. 
No, we, she's too modest for that. You can't have a uh, boob war. Giant tits. Me too. We slap each other with our tits and then she'll knock me down for being a modest and gross, kick me out of the function. Too if I would ever be in the same same fucking room as Abby Shapiro. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I would love to have a booby fight with you, Abby Shapiro. Hit me up. <laughs> I think that in today's day and age, it's very hard to dress modestly. I mean, bras are basically clothing now. Like you can just wear a bra out and about and that is considered fashion. Or you can see women on the red carpet and they're literally wearing nothing with like something sheer over their body like that is it that is their dress that's so hot and i think that's so fine that's they, so hot they love to do that at, like the red carpet events as well and also like wearing a bra out what does she mean by that like i mean girls in the gym uh, wear i never gym understood clothes. that because like we've always given leeway for bikinis in public which literally seemed like almost less fabric than a bra. Yeah, you thong bikini. She gives me she gives she gives me one pie, uh, one piece with like a turtleneck vibe. The, why, wait, why would you wear a one piece bathing suit with a turtleneck? I'm saying Abby Shapiro gives me those vibes. You, that's not beach attire. So I'm saying. I was saying she would probably wear something like sheer over it, like like something like like long, really, like a robe. You know, a one piece bathing suit. Uh huh. You know what a one piece bathing suit is? Yeah, it's like a. Yeah. That's anyway, cool. anyway. She looks like she looks like she dressed like a scuba diver by, uh, by accident. Wearing one pieces are okay, by the way. They are, and they can be really cute. I have a lot of cute one piece bathing suits. But who suits. cares if people are going out and showing skin? Why do you care? Who cares? Who gives? Who cares? Because it's gross and it bothers her. She doesn't like looking at it. Maybe she likes boobs. I know. I feel like this is like projection because like. I love the red carpet statements when literally famous A-list yeah, yeah, yeah. celebrities have their nipple showing through a dress like for free. We get to see your A-list titty nipples for free. Titty nipples. That's a good one. <laughs> for free. And we're mad about it. And also dressing modestly is not hard. No one's Banana Republic will always be here. Brooks, Bro 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 Brooks Brothers, that's a store we we're, like dressy clothes. I don't, uh, J. Crew. I don't know. Oh, are you saying like basic brands? Brands that sell like business casual type clothing. Oh, okay. So it's very difficult to dress modestly because that's not what we're being shown is fashionable. But the reason I say it's a tool to be used is because modesty will get women what they want, it will get you what you want. If you dress immodestly, you are asking men to look at you for your body. That is a... Ooh. Here we go. Also, how... Okay, so if you dress modestly, you're going to get the job that you applied for. I know that's that's not really what she's saying, but I'm just I'm just saying. She's actually saying... Um, actually, she could be saying that. Yeah, well, be, her point of this segment is, like, she literally, like, captioned, like, this segment. It's like... Modesty is a weapon, and she's saying that basically um, your modesty will make men be more curious about what's underneath instead of just giving it away. She's a little tease. Yeah, so you're she's just like, a fucking you're, you're, tease. You're, like, that's kind of kinky. <laughs> that's kind of kinky, girl, honestly. Um, but, yeah, so what are we thinking so far? We finally got the word man. We finally we got the one. And that's what she means when she says, when she says, you will get what you want. She's not talking about a job. She's talking about a man. What you want from men. And she just said, and she said in the beginning, this is not about men. It's about you. But what you want is men in a specific, ma specific every, manner. Every woman wants a man. That's just how it is. Also, that's true. Yeah, that's there's, all, that's there's the, no LGBTQ. No, that's all we're here for is we're here to find a man to marry us and make babies with us. That's what we're here for. Mm hmm. Yeah, and dressing modestly is apparently the weapon to use to get that. She can live somewhere else. Move Anyways. To, she can literally move to Utah. <laughs> you are asking men to look at you for your body and to ignore your personality. They don't need to get to know you as the person. They are looking at you as a sex object. Now, I don't think most women are wanting men to ignore who they are in favor of looking at them as something they can sleep with. Personally, um, that's not my goal when I dress like this. That is a horrible fucking take, is it not? 
is it not that just because I dress like this, that my mind and who I am as a person, I don't deserve to be taken seriously? Because she was like, they're going to look at you as a sex object, mm-hmm. right? That sounds like a man's problem. That sounds like a man's problem. That sounds like a patriarchy oh, yeah. problem. That sounds like a porn addiction problem. That sounds like I can't control myself mm-hmm. problem. Yeah. The body isn't inherently sexual. Boobs especially aren't even sexual organs. They're not reproductive sexual organs. They're literally life-making organs. Or not even organs. They're life-making. Life <laughs> they're life, they're they're life-sustaining. Life yeah, they're, yeah. Beautiful part of nature and femininity. And I think they make great accessories. Anyways. Um, yeah, so we've already heard things about men that, you know, it's about men. It's always about men. Yeah. Everything's about men. If you want more than a one-night stand and you want somebody to actually like you, then dressing to be attractive rather than to be objectified is, you know, it's very different. Objectified. Love that word. Love the the usage of language there. If you don't want to be objectified. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but you guys remember. But what were you wearing? Did I already say that? But what remember? do you remember that this, this is what they say to people? What, what was she wearing? wearing? What were you wearing? I wasn't wearing this or anything like this. Oh, okay. Just say hey. I just felt like rage up in my body. But what was she wearing? It's like that a, has anything to do with any of the matter of the fact. A, I, will, nah, I can't talk about such that. A, that's, she's like teetering on that line and it's so frustrating she would say that what? In a court. she would say that in a court or something yeah but you can tell you, she, she's wait, 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 wait. like she's basically insinuating you're asking for sexual objectification and mistreatment by men basically mm-hmm. because you're just a sexual object if that's the way you present yeah even though it's just that's you know I'm not a person I'm just a sexual object because I dress like this that's that's just how it is. Yeah. There's, and it, it yeah. Was, it, this isn't about men anyways, like she said. No, it no. has nothing to do with men. Yeah. Men's opinions on the way women dress don't, don't matter at all, apparently. But they really do. We've made modesty the villain of our discourse rather than a virtue. Are there some restrictions on the way that we should dress so that we can attract better attention? Absolutely. But that's not a bad thing. And that doesn't mean that men are bad. It doesn't mean that you are being restrained and now you should be, you should have freedom. It's a virtue to be harnessed. You can use modesty to your advantage. You can dress in a way that accentuates your figure without showing the entire thing off. You can dress in a way that makes you look beautiful rather than sexy. And of course, there are times when those two things overlap. She said it's not a problem with men. She has said the word man and men I more times then she's even, I think, said woman or femininity in the first three minutes of this. Yeah, but and but she's saying men aren't bad or whatever, whatever point she's trying to make. But you're saying you say they're viewing you a specific way if you dress immodestly. So and that's this is your fault. That's and the it's woman. your fault. They're not bad, but it's your fault because if they view you sexually. Yeah. Like, I don't uh, my brain is all. Twisty. I mean, but she also does make a good point. If there's a, you, if you are a person who dresses modestly, there's a way to do it that oh, I'm yeah. sure where you can still feel beautiful and sexy or look beautiful and sexy. No one's you saying that it. you can't be sexy and not have your body out. Like, you know, sometimes I, when I'm in bummy clothes, I don't feel sexy, but I still have my body out. I'll be in like booty shorts and a tank top, but I'm not doing it to be sexy. I'm just comfortable, but I'm not technically modest. No, you can't. I don't feel beautiful and elegant and pretty, but like. There's so many ways that you could dress that make you feel beautiful and sexy, whether it's modest or, or immodest. It doesn't matter. Right. Both and ways are hot. Both ways can be hot. Both ways are perfectly fine, I think. The problem is, is a lot of people use, like she said in the beginning, religion and patriarchy to dictate why you dress modestly. That's if that's your reason, then maybe Uh, there's an issue. Like we won't have to, we don't really have. Was she saying that? She said in the beginning, she was like, dressing modestly doesn't have to be for the religious and the like. Okay. That that group of people and for the patriarchy, but a lot of times it does, and that's the issue. But if you are in, an independent person, independent thinker, and you independently feel more comfortable being modest, fucking go for it. Fucking go for it. 
but don't tell me that I can't walk around like this and that or that I'm asking for it or that I'm lesser than. I think there's this obsession with wanting men to look at you. Women want to be desired. That makes sense. But realistically, there is a, a very fine line between being desired within the range of being beautiful and also being attractive and being desired within the range of being a sex object and men really not caring who you are, but really just wanting you for your body. And I think that modesty allows us to walk that line and fall on this side rather than this side. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, so she's saying that like modesty will get you that like attention, that desirement, but also the ring, the family, the stability, the yep. the non sexual I'm... objectification of mm -hmm. you know also, as if like that means just because I dress like this that that's an impossible future for me. Also most of the time or any of the time or whatever women dressing immodestly doesn't mean they're doing it for men like no you're not to you are you are definitely not doing this for men ever oh no it's for the girls if people like if uh, if i know if i know one thing if you know one thing about me i hate men and every you can ding the bell you've gone in public enough with me to know that and i dress i dress with my 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 bits out yes yeah, she does <laughs> She really and she could get, she couldn't care less about what I can't wait to go out and for the men to look at at me. No, usually um I get I'm not very nice to men in public. I'm not known to be very nice to men in public. She's not she's not nice to men. I I'll be like Okay, it's fine. Like you're okay. It's okay. It's, please, just please don't talk to you. Honestly, why are you being so mean to him? He didn't do anything. And a girl comes up to me and she goes, Oh my god, like your boobs and I'm like, Yeah. It's for the girls, the gays in the days, it's not for the, the men. And it's for Sam, but kind of, not really. Modesty doesn't need to be frumpy. It doesn't need to be ugly. It should be beautiful and it should accentuate your beauty, but it should be about how lovely you are, not about how good you are in bed. I can't, it's just, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. This means you're good in bed. She's terrible in bed. No, but you know what I'm saying, All right? I mean, it's okay if it's obvious that I look like I'm good in bed. That's fine. I'm not saying that that's not fine, but that doesn't mean that everyone gets to fuck me. Like showing your boobs doesn't mean like, oh, oh, that girl's good in bed. Yeah, that is. So then I'm gonna go fuck that person. Or maybe she's saying that because those people who do dress pr provocatively are um, do sleep around, so they yes. know more about sex. Sex. Yes. I can say it probably. You, yes, you can say sex. I've. I'm, You've said Pete, sex, 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 sex. Don't. I'm good started. at sex. You're bad at sex. I'm good at sex. You're bad at sex. I'm good at sex. You're bad at sex. Sex, 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 sex. <laughs> Only booby burger fans will understand. <laughs> A really good example of this is Sydney Sweeney. There was this whole thing going around online about Sydney Sweeney because she has flaunted her chest very publicly in the way that she dresses. And so there was this whole conversation about how she was embracing her femininity and allowing the male gaze and how that was a good thing. Okay, so let's clarify. Embracing your femininity is not the same thing as being overtly sexual. Yes, it can be. Also, she's not being overtly sexual. She's just dressing how she wants. The body isn't sexual. Something isn't sexual until you make it sexual. That's my belief. And that's... A great fucking I think, belief that I is. I think she should wear what she wants. A level fucking headed belief. And she also, should, you're sexualizing her. Why were the middle schoolers? Sorry, you were. What were you gonna say? I was saying, like, what you said is a great point. It's like, you know, she, Abby, and the men, I guess, are the ones applying sexual connotation to the outfits mm -hmm. and the stuff. Would we're, we're just existing? Why in middle school was that such a thing? Like, who was it distracting? Because I know it was distracting the staff for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've, we've gotten into the this. obviously the teenage boys, but like, yeah, I mean, but why it, are we sexualizing them from such a so Why? Why? And, and why? like, that's also like a huge point of like why dressing immodestly can be a political statement and can be rebellious. You know, like, we're, as women, we're told our whole life to cover up, to not have a male make make a man accidentally want to touch us or get a boner yeah especially back back in the day yeah it's like trying to make sure your uncle doesn't get hard when he comes over for family dinner 
Yeah. Personally, that's not my experience with life, but I've heard that from plenty of other people. That's very gross and yeah, disgusting. Yeah, luckily so. I was not raised like that. Um, <laughs> I have a good family, but that is something that I've heard a lot and think is really sad. And it is, you know, she wants to make it seem like literally modesty has never had any ish, any connection to misogyny, patriarchy, sexism, all of those bad things. She's just out here just fucking acting like it's just our responsibility as women, which is exactly her point that she's trying to not make. This is, she's making the, she's losing the argument that she just tried to make. She's like, she's yeah. just outing herself. Embracing your femininity is not about being a sex object. Embracing your femininity is about the things that make women feminine, nurturing, beauty, not sex, not just being a body. That is not embracing femininity at all. In fact, that's very masculine to like put out all of this energy of like, yeah, I am ready and here, take me to bed. That's very masculine rather than like the more seductive, subtle version of I am beautiful and you'll have to earn me. I love that. I'm in my masculine era. Everywhere I go, I'm just like, Look at me. I'm ready to go. Any girl that I see out who just has like the least, like even maybe just a t-shirt and shorts, yeah. she's probably ready. She's, she's probably ready to go. She's wearing a turtleneck and she's ready to go. Ca and long khakis. She's ready to go. Abby Shapiro does have one button undone at the top. Just saying she's wearing a collared shirt for those of you who are just listening. That's a little not modest to me. You're pushing it there a little bit. Just a little bit. That which I know is unpopular, but that is a much more feminine expression of sexuality, is I am not just free. You need to earn my attention. That's why I w believe waiting for sex until marriage is so important. You have to earn this thing that is so precious to me. My sex life is not just for everyone to have, you know, a chance at. I am saving that for the one person who I believe earned it and who is going to take care but of it. But that's you. But that's you. But you can still have those beliefs and dress however you want. Literally. Duh. Uh, sorry, but like Duh. who you are as a person and the way you dress doesn't always like correlate like moralists. No, like, at all. I like to believe that I have a high standard of morals. I mean, it might not be like religious or conservative morals, but they're overall, I think I have good morals. And uh, not stupid. I'm. <laughs> I have lots of interests. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm just boobs. You're just boobs, though. You're just a sex object, as she says. Yes, just I'll a never sex object. find someone I, who will take me seriously and want to spend. The, I mean, I've been told that for by so many fucking people that you know because of the way I dress, I'll never find somebody. But that, yeah, that makes sense. It's usually by single people telling that makes me a lot that. Of, that makes a lot of sense. It's just it's just because they're mad. And also, it's like that's your personal belief that you want to wait for marriage. You want to you want to not show your naked body to your partner until marriage. That's your decision. Yeah, you can As do a person, that, and that's you're fine. You're allowed to do that, and that's okay. But like, not everybody but has to. Everyone else who isn't doing that, that's okay for them to do too. They yes. can do what they want. You know, there's a difference, like, there's, like, you're, you're either, a pr it's like, she's making it seem like you're either, like, holy and wait till marriage, or you're literally just a promiscuous whore. Slut. Whore. Fucking everybody and everything. Yeah. Like, there's not an in-between. Yeah. Like, you're either, you have morals, or you don't. But a lot of people like her believe that. At the end of the day, when you have a lot of women dressing immodestly, it actually makes it harder for the women who do want to dress modestly. It's not just a choice of like, oh, I guess you can dress this way or I guess you can dress that way and it's just a preference. It's not just a preference because women who dress immodestly make the market harder for women who want to dress modestly. What? How does that make any sense? Oh because, my Lord. Because now, it's frown because now it's frowned upon as we are frowning upon her for dressing that way. I'm not even frowning upon, I don't care how people dress, no. but like. I mean, she, what she's wearing is something I, I would wear when I'm riding a horse, but. <laughs> but people, but that's not, how is that making your life more difficult if women yeah. are just dressing and wearing clothing sluts that make are make my more... life harder because my husband won't stop staring at the sluts. But also it's like. 
Hey. Clothing store, like, there's going to be a range of clothing stores I've seen. I, they're not going to stop making business casual fucking clothing stores for you, Abby. Like, there's always going to be those stores. Like, just don't there's go to no, Forever 21 like, then. Yeah. Like, you're, sorry. You're not 21. Or you forever. are a mother. There are plenty of stores yeah. that are catered to modest or older women who are not trying to dress promiscuous there will always be that market there's many stores for many different types of clothing right are we teaching a fifth grade class like and she's always fucking obsessed about fucking it's always boobs because she's a big boobed woman so she's always yeah. that's all she cares about she always because that's why she brought up sydney sweeney because she has big tits mm. lovely tits and um lovely tits she's got, she's got some great tits i can't do it so i don't even mind trying. <laughs> but boohoo cry cry me a fucking river abby shapiro like i'm sorry that it's so fucking hard for you to find modest clothing when i go to the fucking thrift store i find tw like there's literally racks and racks of what that shirt is that you're wearing ah racks ah, ha. ah racks racks but you know what i mean like nobody's taking away your fucking button up no, bla and blazers just, and long skirts she just wants to she wants to feel like a victim right now oh no you're such a victim abby shapiro who is going to get the initial attention more? The woman who is dressed really provocatively or the woman who is dressed a little bit more modestly? It's going to be the provocative one, but that's gonna be short-lived. The guys are going to go through 25 women. They're just dating, 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 but not really seeing a future with before they see the girl who is going to be a little bit more work for them to end up with right they're actually going to have to put in the effort dating is dating that's what you do it's okay yeah. if you're dating that's how you find the person that you like she's like and viewing it in a such a to me that's like a huge way of like we like weeding losers out of my life if all they all like, like it's very obvious when somebody only views you as a sex object it's kind of hard not to like feel like that's very obvious when you're talking to somebody mm. who doesn't see you as a human being i mean from a woman's perspective, it's very obvious when somebody is that kind of person. Interesting. So why why the fuck would I continue the conversation? Right. When plenty of people, yeah, like maybe my outfit might attract somebody to come up to talk to me because of the way I'm looking and being not provocative, I might look more approachable or whatever the case may be. But... You know, if you just start talking to me like a normal human being, you'll also realize that I'm just a normal fucking human being. That I'm not, I'm not, I'm just a person. Like, she no, actually. Like, you're just a sex object. That's so. literally, if anything, I think it's more fun to have to dress provocatively and then also not let anyone touch me. <laughs> I have. You know what I mean? Like, you still have to earn me. You don't just get to, like, you don't get to just have me. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, right. Like, I am not an idiot. I, I want I'm someone... sure so many other women feel the same way. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm just not available to touch just because I'm wearing this anyway. Yeah, like, I can draw you in that way. But if you're not going to want to, if you're not actually interested in me as a person, it's pretty obvious. Guys are not that smart when it comes to that kind of shit. Guys are not that smooth. And you'll be able to notice that in our next episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a lot of men are not willing to put in that effort. The good men are but not all men. I think that modesty deals with the reality that men are attracted to women through a visual means initially, but it doesn't so distract them that then they are completely removed from who you are beyond what you look like. And if your boobs are out the entire conversation, it's gonna be difficult to want to know about like what your favorite movie is. I mean, we've been dating for a while now. What's my favorite movie? You have to know. I've told you a bajillion times. Um, oh, uh, I don't know, I don't, um, I'm sorry, you're, I think it was like, and then at the boobs, uh, boo, Mrs. Boob Fire, I don't, I'm not sure which one. It's the Titanic. Oh, yeah, oh, right, right, sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help it because I'm just, I'm completely staring, I'm, it, it's so distracting, I didn't know anything about you. Maybe Abby Shapiro has a point. I think she might have a point, I, I didn't even... I said Night of the Boob Zam. That's not even... Night of the Boob Zam. That sounds like Mrs. a... Mrs. Boob Fire. That doesn't even make any sense. Are you just saying boob? Is that... I... Yeah. Do you even know how old I am? Or when my birthday is? Your boob day? 
Uh oh, I think I gotta go put on a turtleneck. The last thing to kind of talk about is just how desensitized we've become to sexuality, to the female form, to nudity. If you are consistently surrounded by naked people, then after a certain point, naked people aren't going to be nearly as arousing as if you don't really see nudity and then all of a sudden you see your husband or your wife in your bedroom naked. So what is she trying to say here that where showing it too much so now it's not special yeah so it's like it's not gonna like turn your partner on as much anymore if you if they always get to see it when you live with someone you're seeing them naked and, and all that great shit i'm naked around you all the time it doesn't like it's not that big of a deal i don't really understand the point and like you're gonna be so desensitized to it if you want to talk it sounds like you know what this is sounds like porn culture <laughs> i was I'm gonna say i'm not gonna say it this sounds like somebody's Somebody has issues and that's not a woman's fault. And also, if, like, if after seeing your partner naked a few times, you're already that just bored by them, then maybe you're not attracted to them to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe like, or you just you don't I don't know. You shouldn't be in a relationship, whatever. That is a lot more arousing than nudity everywhere. And unfortunately, today we are really surrounded by nudity constantly. And we're telling people that you shouldn't be aroused by the nudity that you're seeing on a regular basis because that would be awkward. You're only making it sexual if you're making it sexual. You're making it sexual, Abby Shapiro. We live in LA. We see bodies, men and women, in slutty outfits every day. And are we just walking around bricked up every day? She's acting like it's now a nudist country. I know. Everyone just walks around what, in what, bra and undies. Just all boobs and thongs and, and sheer dresses big ding dongs and ass whatever she's so obsessed she's so obsessed with sluts i think it's projection i think she, she wants she wants think, to she wants to wear what you're wearing yeah I, th <laughs> I think she would feel really really sexy if she had her big ass tits yeah, out. i would love to see like a like her flip the switch that would be pretty fucking funny come on abby come have a boob fight with me yeah if the woman at the Oscars after party is wearing something that's completely sheer and you're having a conversation with her I don't think you're supposed to be aroused in that situation and so you're creating a system in oh, which you shouldn't be aroused in that situation because if you are that's an issue with you bro or right girl yeah literally like it is it's not that hard aroused. to knock it hard you could be like <laughs> oh that person's really beautiful or whatever attractive sexy there's like, there's like a fine line like you can be like oh wow and appreciate someone's the way they look or the way that they're dressing and think that they're sexy and stuff like that but like if yeah. you're talking about like being aroused and like whatever i don't know people i just i don't know we see people in public I mean, all the time and i'm like damn that girl's a baddie but i'm not out here like struggling not to go grab her ass no exactly but there is an issue but there is an issue yeah there's an essay issue there is so. but that's not I mean, I've been ever around. the person who's wearing the clothes is fault. <laughs> I don't view women that way. Oh, you're so different. I really am. Mm. I'm a nice guy. He's a nice guy. <laughs> and so you're creating a system in which nudity and nakedness and immodesty are removed from sexuality, which nobody wants, right? When you get undressed in front of your husband, you don't want him to be like, Oh, okay. Another day. <laughs> that doesn't feel very good. Why would he do that? What? Why would he do that? When you're you with somebody, you're with them for, you're supposed to be with them for ever. So decades. So you're going to see their body are naked you, like, a hide lot. hide all the time? Like, are you only supposed to have sex on like, like once a year to keep the the naked body special? Like, like you're as eventually going to get you. I don't know what it you. looks like. Yeah. Like, I've seen it once. I know what it looks like. Right. And <laughs> if I see it once, I, it's in my head. Right. And it's also like when you're with somebody, you're going to see them naked multiple times. And the whole like you're supposed to stay attracted to their body. Yeah. And every single time. I mean, that's what makes sex fun with somebody you like is the fact that no matter how many times you see them naked, you still like seeing them naked. And yeah, that's so, I can't even. Can we see how she ends this? Yes, and then I just got two comments I want to point out, and then we can end it. So modesty also makes sex special because it makes nakedness special. I've always said that it is sexier to see a woman wear a skirt that's longer, but if she sits down, it rides up a little bit because, oh, that's maybe not something I'm supposed to see, than a woman who wears a miniskirt. 
Like if she's already completely exposed, then it doesn't matter. But if her, the slit in her dress opens a little bit and you see her, her leg a little more, that's always gonna be a little sexier because, oh, like, am I supposed to see that? And that's why modesty is so beautiful because- Wouldn't that be immodest? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you're describing your definition of what you believe is modest, but there is someone out there who's gonna tell you that what you just described is immodest. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So you're showing a little bit of skin and now, and you're talking about men again, and the men are gonna be like, ooh, like, am I supposed to be seeing that? Am I not? Am I supposed to be why seeing her kneecaps? Why are they viewing you like that anyways? <laughs> <laughs> her yeah. kneecaps are showing. And oh my god, her oh, kneecaps! Oh. oh my god, her her outer thigh, her outer lower thigh is getting to me. Um, oh no, her, her her shirt slipped off her shoulder a little bit. Ooh, those collarbones are getting. It's like she. I hate people who have this like I'm better than everyone. I know it's right view, and both Ben and Abby Shapiro are both that kind of person. It's like. There is going to be somebody out there who is more modest than you, Abby, who's going to tell you that what you just said is a whorish thing to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy, easy, yes. easy. And I hope they do. And it yes. will be me. That is a whorish thing to do, you whore. Yeah, that is a whore, teasy, slutty-ass move. You're kinky. That's a, you're being kinky right now. Yeah, that is like a tease. I'm it's sexualizing like, you. You're you being know, kinky. You know what you're doing. You are trying to be sexualized if, you're, if you get that little slit and you're stressed and you know you're like looking over and you're like, yeah, you see that slit. She, that's her whole thing is being sexualized. You're sexualized because of that. It's like someone someone out there is going to tell you that you are not being modest by saying what you just said. So I don't think it's fair that you have to that your definition of modesty is the correct one because that was kind of slutty. Because it makes things hidden that then in private are even more sexy because you're alone and they're not supposed to be seen in public. There is a real beauty to modesty. It respects your body. It respects the things that, that make you you, but are not the focus of who you are. Your body is not the focus of who you are. Your body is a part of who you are. And if you make it the entirety, they're not going to take another minute to figure out what the person is behind, behind the body alone. What do I do? You got to know me. I got to know you. You got to know the person behind you. Behind the boobs. Even though you dress with boobs. Yeah, you got to know the person the behind the boobs, and I think you liked the person so behind the boobs. So that point is disproven scientifically according to this anecdotal experience. But I was just going to say, I feel like that's like anyone in my kind of same position. Like, sometimes, it, yeah, it's, you know, while we're not dressing this way for attention, it's a, it, it will grab attention most likely, but if someone's actually worth keeping around, they're, they're not going to just, you know, you'll know. They'll, they'll try to get to know you. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You can weed out it's people. Pretty, it's you can pretty weed out obvious. People. It's not that hard. It's, it's, yeah. So if you and, dress however the fuck you want, honestly. Because even if you dress like Abby, there's still going to be some guy. Plenty, who plenty, plenty. Thinks he can still get you undressed. He might think of you more as actually like a challenge. Like, oh, I bet I can get that girl to fuck me tonight because look at her. She looks like a Mormon. Yeah. She looks like yeah, a Mormon. So yeah. I bet I can get her home. Like, no matter what, there's a guy out there who's going to think, sec who's going to sexualize you. Because, yes, men suck. All right, let's matter wrap this matter what up. you sorry, wear. Sorry. No matter what you wear. Anyways, that was our point is all of that. Yeah, that like, if you're like me, you're a worthless whore with no brain, no thoughts. No one will ever take you seriously. No one will ever care what you think or have to say. Um, however, here I am behind a mic. So, <laughs> speaking with my boobs. Out. No, just my boobs are speaking. Okay, so I wanted to mention something because I actually read this comment that I found on her on this um, video that I found interesting because, like I said in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with dressing modestly. There's nothing wrong with dressing immodestly. It's a personal preference, unlike what Abby Shapiro thinks. If whatever makes you feel comfortable and happy, dress that way, please. Anyways, someone said, I'd rather be friends with an internal modest person than external. I've known people that dressed modest but treated others horribly and have a huge I'm better than you attitude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't ready for that because that I'm not saying it. Ding, ding, ding. Um, and I've known people that dress immodest but are humble and kind people. I live up and grew up in Utah where external modesty was forced. 
by the Mormon church because that's huge in Utah. But, ex- but internal practice of modesty were never. I know. We know. Uh, I know I'm plenty, not, we I know plenty of people it. like I'm this. I'm not saying it. And I've tried to make this point multiple times because, you know, I, of course, like, I know the way I dress. I know the way people think. And I know the way that people view me because of the way I dress. So they assume that I am just this classless whore. When in reality, she's just, insanely, just, she's insanely internally modest. Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but like, thank you. Compared to people who would consider themselves classy mm-hmm. uh, and are not behind closed doors. And that's what a lot of people like to forget is that, you know, and I thought that was just a really great way to like, when you think about it, when you think about modesty, think about it as external and internal. Yeah. Because what you see online, what you see on the outside doesn't have much representation of who a person is on the inside. Absolutely not. Never, ever, mm-hmm. ever, ever. It can be a cover. It can be anything. I mean, like I wear what I want because I feel comfortable in what, you know, what I, I like wearing what I like to wear. But I'm also a person who, you know, I'm, I'm just a fucking person. I'm a, I'm just a girl. I'm just I'm a girl. Just a girl. And I have hobbies and interests. And I know. And this is the end of the episode. Yeah. But there's one more comment, actually. Okay. Somebody said, you said it's more masculine to be sexually aggressive and to put yourself out there for sex. And you see no problem with that. If you want young men and women to wait to have sex before marriage, then acknowledge that men are too sexual don't just write it off as boys will be boys. If they want to have sex with a girl, they will pressure her if they want to, regardless of what she may be wearing at the time. That leads to premarital sex and abortion, which I thought you disliked. Yeah, that's a banger point, honestly. Yeah, I thought those two points were really good. And I almost feel like I said that a bit earlier yeah, as well. Like, which is why I thought you could just read that because that is literally like she's giving men passes. Yeah, when, there's ne- never boys will be boys. I hate that saying. You know, she's just saying men that's will be men. You know, she spent a whole episode trying to teach us about why women benefit from modesty, but just basically said men a bajillion times. Yeah, so she just completely destroyed her so, point. Anyways. Fuck you, Abby Shapiro. Suck my nipple. Suck my tit. You're welcome for bringing <laughs> Abby Shapiro back into your life. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I didn't learn shit. Yeah, we didn't learn anything. I think I'm going to dress... Anything. Sluttier? I think you should just just don't wear anything now. I think I'm just going to start being a nudist. All right, perfect. All right, thank you. What do you guys think? All right. Uh, Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, And maybe you could be a little more modest. I hope that you guys were able to pay attention and not just stare at my boobs the whole time. I hope things were actually able. I mean, if you're yeah, no, I was was staring the whole time. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) so uh, um, peace out.